Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about why do we use MD5 function in Informatica. So the scenario is good when table has street column and flag column. So it's easy for a developer to implement std type geo. Suppose a situation come when or no date column or no flag column. So how to implement std type geo? when such a situation come. So for this, the solution is to generate hash code for the entire rows and use it as an identifier column for reference. So to achieve this, use MD5 function. And about the MD5 function, so it's combination of a string and digits.
Next time I'm going to discuss about this all transformation, positive source coil and fire transformation. So here I did not change anything. And expression transformation, I added one new port, md5 underscore call, the data a string and precision I have given 155. So this is output port. And at here I used md5 function and I concatenate all the columns. And whatever the columns so or data type integer, I convert it into the character by using two underscore char function. So about MD5, so go to encoding, select MD5, and returns the MD5 has value of the input value as char. So input it receives char and it returns has value. Now next transformation is so uh, lookup transformation. So this is so uh, lookup column m emp underscore id equal to emp underscore id1. This is transformation port coming from expression transformation. So add your properties. So lookup it's lookup source is so uh, employee underscore tct. So lookup table, it's come from employee underscore tct. Now next transformation is start to transformation. So add here, I added to group insert. So is null emp underscore id underscore lkp. So initially there is no any records uh, into the target table. So, so this record, there is no any records inside emp underscore id underscore lkp so emp underscore id underscore lkp so it's come from emp underscore id and i just modify and add here underscore I've given lkp so there is no any records into our targetable so this condition is true so there is no any records then whatever uh, records coming from source that's all recording to the insert employee underscore tct underscore insert so initially there is no any records suppose this is uh, there is some records now i'm going to truncate the target table so no any records into the target tables now go to workflow and start the session. So enter employee underscore DCT underscore insert. So five records go for insert. If there is no any records into the target table. And for update, so this condition I have given this all condition. So let's run the or query and let's copy this all and uh, paste it notepad. So for update, this is the query, not is null emp underscore id underscore lkp. So this condition is true, not is null, because add here in lkp, after running the, running the session, after running the session, this all records loaded into the target table and uh, at a lookup transformation, the source is so targetable. So this condition is true. And md5 underscore core underscore lkp. So at here, this is md5 digit plus numeric 
combination. So this is MD5 add here. Not equal to source uh, not equal to MD5 underscore call one. So MD5 underscore call one. So it's coming from source. That's not equal. So if you change, uh, I'm going to do modification on uh, employee underscore ID 181. So right here, I'm going to change the state California one. So now commit. And hereafter, let's uh, run the session. So look at the employee underscore tzd underscore update. So one record applied for update. And if you execute the query, so let's execute the query and copy this hash code and paste it there. So add your this all values are equals. This all values has codes are equals. So add here this has value and this has value are not equal. So this is coming from 181 and add here I change the city name California 1. So if you do any modification into the source table columns, then obviously MD5s. Or has value get change. So if change, so then this value different, or uh, and this value, this value different, and this value different. So both are not equal, and this, both are not equal. Then true. So right here, if you are using and operator, and operator. So if both condition is true, then the value come true. So right here, true and true, the value come true, then that go for update. And rest of this all, so add here has, has code or all equals. So there is no any changes in, changes in uh, employee ID 182, 183, 184, 186. So no any changes in has code and no any things. So if you do any modification in any columns, then obviously has code change then that go for update. So this is the, this is the two group I added and I've given the filter condition. It's not AMP underscore ID underscore LKB and not is not this all. And next uh, for update, a strategy I used and add here update a strategy expression I give DD update for update the records and add here I copy this or target table and paste it there and whatever update records go then that receive by this target and in session add here insert I change target load type to back to normal and add here only given insert or checkbox enable and add here this is or uh, update as update or you can also use no any no any facts insert or update as an update and look up transformation given the value hr underscore com So this is a detailed description about transformation and uh, session property. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.